Happy Leap Year! Pippa and I wanted to send a brief note to encourage all of you taking part in the challenge of reading the whole Bible this year to keep going. Rick Warren has written that reading the Bible generates life. It produces change. It heals hurts. It builds character. It transforms circumstances. It imparts joy. It overcomes adversity. It defeats temptation. It infuses hope. It releases power. It cleanses the mind. We hope and pray that reading the Bible brings much benefit to your life, just as it has done for ours. So, today we want to leave you with a selection of verses as we pray for you on this journey. First of all, from the Psalms, from Psalm 1. Keep delighting and meditating on God's words. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. From the New Testament, keep focused on Jesus as you read. From John 5, you study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. But these are the very scriptures that testify about me. And then from the Old Testament, keep putting God's word into practice. From Deuteronomy chapter 4. Now, Israel, hear the decrees and laws I'm about to teach you. Follow them so that you may live and may go in and take possession of the land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. Do not add to what I command you and do not subtract from it but keep the commands of the Lord your God that I give you. Lord, thank you so much for everyone who's following this plan and seeking to read the whole Bible with us. I want to pray for every person doing it, that you would fill them with your Holy Spirit as they read, that you'd bless their lives surround them with your angels, guard them, protect them, and bless every aspect of their lives, their family, their friends, their community, their work, everything that they're involved in, and that they would stay close to you, that they'd hear you speaking through the Bible each day. In Jesus' name, amen. And look forward to seeing as many of you as possible at the Leadership Conference at the Royal Albert Hall on the 6th and 7th of May. It's going to be an amazing event, and I'm so excited. We'll have 5,500 people in the Royal Albert Hall worshipping Jesus together, praying for one another, and hearing inspiring messages. I think it's going to be a life-transforming event. Really hope to see you there. God bless. Pippa adds, Hooray, an extra day, February the 29th. Every day is precious with the Lord.